It's uh, June 8th, 2021. My name is Eric Haluzic with All Corners Home Inspections. This is the crawl space evaluation for the single family home here in Lebanon, Oregon. As with all the videos in this report, we would request that you view this video as supplemental to the written version of the report to which this video has been attached. At the time of inspection, there were a multitude of reportable challenges in Israeli's foundation crawl space. We'll do our best to detail those challenges here. First challenge that we'll note is at the uh, rear side of the structure, uh, underneath, uh, or approximately underneath the hall and master bathrooms. We're seeing widespread uh, wood destroying insect and or dry rot activity and then a response to that structure uh, condition uh, that is less than workmanlike. We're seeing uh, new materials, new framing materials improperly uh, attached to older framing materials which were formerly impacted by wood destroying insect activity. This condition will uh, accelerate the deterioration of that new material and possibly the old material as well. There is an overspanning condition at the sill plate at the same area. You can see that here, the more or less behind the, uh, that master bathroom area. That sill plate is under supported at, at that location. And there are lots of areas of the crawl space which are not accessible at the area at the far right rear portion of the crawl space. Uh, the sill plate at this location is crushed and badly affected by wood destroying insect activity. Um, and then the joists attached to those areas are also in poor condition with structural integrity probably compromised. The cast iron uh, waste plumbing is in poor condition with uh, areas of significant corrosion at a variety of locations, both at unions as well as in the field. Uh, there's also galvanized plumbing, uh, distribution plumbing in the crawl space, which is in uh, uh, rusted condition at, uh, at Y's, excuse me, at T's and at other intersections. The support structure for this area, for the field underneath this single family home is less than ideal with uh, construction techniques that were utilized in the 40s and 50s, essentially using materials that were on site to allow for shimming between the ground level and the underside of the girders. Uh, we're seeing crushed uh, shim work, uh, the use of unapproved uh, cement materials and uh, unattached conditions, meaning that, the, that what we would consider the post uh, in most locations is not physically attached to the the girder above it. I'd recommend an evaluation. Possible repair by a licensed contractor with recent demonstrated experience in managing all of these challenges. And actually, as we're moving uh, in, this, in this direction here, here's, here's the sort of scenario that it is that we're speaking to. This is a this is an impacted uh, area of wood destroying insect activity directly adjacent to it, where we see a new section of joist which is physically crushed. That's an indication that we have excess pressure and weakness in the in the adjacent joist as structural uh, compromise has actually physically occurred. A bit of a rare scenario where we can actually see that see that joist uh, challenge actually in action. You can see that crushed uh, new joist there. This has been Eric Kaluzic with All Corners Home Inspection.